hello my colorful creative friends welcome to my little real-time um, little art tutorial well not an art tutorial just a supply technique um, video that I'm going to do today it is going to be in real time um, I've having trouble with editing <laughs> so um, a, a real-time Thing is what you're going to get today what i'm working with today you would have seen me flip the paper over first of all i'm working with watercolor paper and i'm actually using the back side of this paper because it's smooth and i'm just rubbing some ink tense pencils uh, over the back of it and just in random places i don't want to cover the whole surface of the back of this watercolor paper um, I'm choosing watercolour paper because it can uh, take a lot of water, of course. But I'm wanting the back side because um, when I create some pattern and texture in this, um, it, it just works nicer on the, the flatter side. So I'm, what I'm doing now is getting my intense, intense pencils and I'm going around in a rainbow sort of order. So I've gone yellow, orange. I might even get this bit of pink in there. I'm not going to go all the way around the colour wheel because uh, we'll use those other colours later on. But you know, if I can get the rainbow in there, uh, you know, all the more fun. Th this is just about playing with colour. Um, and I do this technique that I'm about to show you to create background papers and cards and i cut them up into tags and punch them out into shapes because you know they're pretty <laughs> um so just randomly scribble on some colors going from yellow to red in this particular instance um i might even put a bit of this uh pale mauve in there that would work um there we go so i think i've got it all covered and <laughs> If you read my profile, you know I like this yellow. I like yellow in stuff. It just makes me happy. So let's go with that. I've just got that. Now I'm going to get um, just water and spray it. Um, look, how much do you spray? Oh, I'll tell you what I do spray. It's the back side. Um, let's get that down there. <laughs> it helps to stick to the glass. I use a glass top table. Oh, let's get back in the picture. I use a glass top table so I'm gonna do that just get my fingers now starting just in the yellow patches here I'll do this technique also with um, watercolor crayons is great any of those water reactive things I, I don't necessarily do it with um, inks they just dry out too quick these ones stay a bit wetter longer so just the colours that I went into, because I don't want to muddy it up too much, even though it won't go too muddy. But I kind of want to keep those colours sort of randomly in the patches that they were. So we don't get one colour all over. I want patches of colour. There we go. And, you know, it doesn't matter if a bit of red gets up there. Yeah, just, you know, keep it simple. I, I like to sort of work quickly. Uh, let's get all that activated. Yep, I'm going to call that done. Now what I do is, that's pretty wet even on the corners. Let's get that corner wetter again. Um, I'll even um, add a bit more colour, even even if from while it's wet, but just pretty, it's a pretty intense colour as you can see. Oh, I'm making a mess. <laughs> Don't we all? This is the, actually the fun part of uh, art and craft, of course. Is well for me, it is making the mess, getting um, all messy with it. Now that's still wet. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to start creating pattern and texture into my background. Um, I'm going to start off with this. It's, I've got some large uh, rubber stamps. This one's just a line one. I'm just going to put that there, and I may even just leave that there like that. So what I'm, I'll show you the stamps I'm using. That, you saw that lined one. I'm using, you know, a pattern one. It's sort of got a lot of open space and um, dark space. Same like that. 
I wouldn't get fine detailed one. I'm going to be using even a, a foam stamp that I made. Uh, you know, we're out of fun foam. It's even got paint on it. Just some stamps, nice sort of open bold patterns. Those sorts of things. I'm even going to use a stencil. I'll show you how to use a stencil. Um, and just more stamps. A bit of word stamp as well is good. Something organic is good. And um, oh, there's uh, my uh, plover you can hear. So those are the sorts of stamps I'm going to use. So what I, what's been happening while I've been yabbering, of course, is that this is drying out a bit. And oh, look, I even had some colour left on there. So I'm going to just work that in. Um, that would have had a bit of colour from the last time I was here working. That's just transferred on that, which is what I'm after. So let's go. Patches that are still wet, I would... Let's see, I'll go like with that and let's see what happens. That leaves a bit of an impression. That doesn't, because it's wet, you're still going to, you're going to pick some of this pattern up. And it may make an impression, it may not. But what we want to be working while this is still wet though. If it uh, is not making much of an impression, um, then spray your little, I spray my little rubber stamp with that. And I will, I'm going to put a bit of green and a bit of yellow. Just scribble it on. It doesn't have to be all the way covered. Spray it again. Oopsie. And all I'm doing is just creating pattern and texture and as I lift and stamp some of this color is actually going to start blending out it's also going to be picking up other colors and creating its own blend so that'll be that if I did that with a stencil I might just randomly spray that there let's go for pink on this one you can see I uh don't clean my stencils <laughs> this has actually got acrylic paint on it um, but the the point of this is just to create texture not to um, really see anything I will probably use that you know does it work does it not sometimes it does sometimes it's pleasing sometimes it's um, nothing much happens at all but that was nice. I like the yellow, uh, the pink on top of the yellow. I'm going to call that one done. Oh, and, that, and I'll just, you know, just pick up the few things that I got. I want to add a bit of um, blue into here. So I'm going to start with a bit of the mauve, actually, because I don't want it too blue. And just randomly scribble over that. Oh, maybe even blend it a bit with my finger. And let's see what happens. Is it going to work? Oh, yeah. See, yeah, that, that's pretty. That, um, I don't even know if we can see that. There's a, a bit of all sorts of colours in there. And let's put one on this side. Yep. So now I'm starting sort of to get a bit of a blend through there. And this is just mixing up colours and having fun with colours. And a bit of water that's still on there. What else could we do? Um, I like, I like, and the patterns that I'm choosing, I like stripes, I like things that are sort of swirly, and of course organic is good, like these organic leaf shapes. If I could, I've already lost it. Oh, goodness me, there it is. Um, organic shapes are really good. So let, what haven't we got? We haven't got this purpley colour. And that's going to be really intense, so I'll wind it down a bit with this more mauve colour. And let's see what we get. Oh yeah, that's nice. Probably a lot of bird noises in the background here. I'm out of my veranda, of course, working. It is a farm. There's, uh, any noise will happen. So this is what my little piece of paper looks like now. Uh, what can I do next? Oh, words, words. Words are always good in the background. So I haven't, 
I'm going to go for... Oh, I can hear dogs barking. <laughs> I'm going to go for a bit of red this time. Through there. Just scribble it on. The, the, well, the words that are in there, I mean, you know, who's going to read it? No one's really going to read it. And just a little bit of a scribble. It's all about creating pattern and texture. And there's a little bit of red. There's a little bit of more red. Uh, and that's popping up there. Oh, but not much happened. And what else have I got? Oh, I've got this one. Ah, oh, what colour shall I do this one in? Yellow would be nice. Let's see what happens. Just bright yellow all the way. Oh yeah, I like that. So what's the purpose of all this? Well, sometimes the purpose is only just to play with colour. And while I'm playing with colour, I, you know, I can make papers. But sometimes it's good just to get away and just play. And really, that's all this is. A little bit of playtime. Playing with colours, seeing what your supplies will do, how they'll react. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> well, that um, blue and green looks nice. Okay, I um, think I am going to nearly call that done. No, you know what? One more. One more. Let's go with this organic one. And let's go with this purple colour. Let's see if that works. Purple and pink. I did have a pink here. And if I see a spot that kind of looks blank, I'll add that in. Yeah. So that's, that's me having a quick play with my colours. I do this a lot with, um, like I said, watercolour crayons, those water reactive things. I've only made a, an A5 piece of paper today just for a quick demonstration but normally I would do this on a like an A3 size so I can have a whole sheet and then chop it all up um, and do projects out of it. So there we go, minimal supplies, some ink tense pencils, a few stamps, if you don't have stamps certainly make your own. Oh I didn't even show you how that worked. So we've got to have one more now. Oh, colour, 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 green. So, you know, paint and all, it, uh, it'll, it'll still work. So just spread that around a bit because that's nice and wet. Oh, let's see what we're going to get right through here, I think. Yeah, that works. Oh, actually, having that bit of green in there makes me happy. So there we go. Use what you have. I happen to have a lot of rubber stamps. I've uh, collected them for years. Stencils will work. That'll work. I'm sure if you have any embossing folders, that'll work. Um, but, you know, get your get some intense pencils out. They're water reactive. Of course, when this dries, it'll be permanent and uh, won't reactivate. So you can then use it as a background and um, start doing other things over the top. Glue won't bother it. Okay. So that's my real-time little tutorial for you today. Um, thank you for joining me. <laughs> Bye.